हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू टू ऑल टू दिस सेशन ऑन फाइनाइट एलमेंट मेथड आई एम दीपक मसलेकर वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट डब्ल्यू आई टी सोलापुर इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मॉडल एनालिसिस यूजिंग फाइनाइट एलिमेंट कमर्शियल पैकेज learning outcomes of this session are at the end of this session student will be able to understand what is the meaning of modal analysis what is the significance of modal analysis and how to solve the problem related with modal analysis using ansys let us understand what is modal analysis in modal analysis we try to find out the natural frequencies and mode shapes of a vibratory system when a system is vibrating at its own that is when a system vibrates due to its elastic properties then the corresponding frequencies with which the system is vibrating are called as natural frequencies and the corresponding modes are called natural modes or normal modes and in modal analysis we try to investigate with what frequency the body is vibrating and it is extremely important in the design to know what are the natural frequencies of a system because when the frequency of external excitation matches with the natural frequency of vibration then that particular condition is called resonance and when the body is in a resonance then it vibrates with the maximum frequency with maximum amplitude and at resonance there is a chance of a catastrophic failure of the system and therefore while designing a machine element it is quite necessary to avoid the external excitation whose frequency should not be equal to the whose frequency is equal to the natural frequency of the system let us now try to understand how to solve a problem by using ansys here is the problem statement and we are asked to determine first three natural frequencies and more shapes of a simply supported beam of 3 cm diameter 1.5 m long density 7780 kg per m3 and angst modulus 208 giga newton per m2 and poisson's ratio for the beam material is given as 0.3 in order to solve the above problem let us now go to ansys workbench and in the graphical user interface of ansys workbench you select the option of model and after choosing this model option a window will pop up in the project schematic here is engineering data and i am going to define the material material 1 let us define properties of this material like density density of the material is 7780 किलोग्राम पर मीटर क्यूब मटेरियल वन आइसोट्रोपिक इलास्टिसिटी डबल क्लिक दैट इज टू जीरो एट इंटू टेन टू दावर नाइन पासकल्स पॉइजन रेशो जीरो पॉइंट थ्री मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टीज आर डिफाइंड नाउ गो टू प्रोजेक्ट स्कीमेटिक open geometry now 
I choose XY plane here is XY plane selected and let us take the unit as centimeter the maximum range that I am going to take is 200 go to sketching straight line and go to dimensions general dimensions length 150 centimeter that is nothing but 1.5 meters let us convert this line into line body modeling go to concept line from sketches sketch is drawn in xy plane this is sketch one line selected apply now the line is converted into line body select the line and generate this line line has been converted into line body let us apply cross section to this line body concept cross section circular the circle has radius 1.5 centimeter because the diameter is 3 centimeter then go to line body cross section is not defined cross section is circular you can see this body in the view option cross section solid now this body you can see this body as a solid body by using isometric view is a solid body okay once we complete this uh, solid modeling we go towards the option of model now i select geometry line body and for the line body default material is structural steel instead of that i am going to take material one as the material so line body is now made up of material and the name of material is material one here you can see material one after that go to mesh right click generate mesh let's improve the quality of mesh sizing resolution resolution is made for you and go to mesh right click update mesh Now the mesh has been updated let us apply boundary conditions for that click on model right click insert remote displacement I choose a node boundary node is chosen apply no displacement in x direction so x display x component zero no displacement in y direction no displacement in z direction rotation about x is zero rotation about y is zero but the body is allowed to rotate about z axis similarly model right click insert remote displacement select the node apply 
x displacement is 0 displacement in y direction is 0 displacement in z direction is 0 rotation about x axis is 0 rotation about y axis is 0 and the body is free to rotate about z axis after applying boundary condition right click and solve it will take some time to solve here is the option right click and then solve so we have obtained a solution just click on the solution and now you can see that the frequencies are 27 hertz 61 hertz 108 hertz 168 hertz these are the frequencies now i select all the frequencies here right click create more shapes then right click on the displacement right click on the solution evaluate all results now you can see the, these are the natural frequencies like 27, 61, 108, 168, 242. These are the natural frequencies. Now we can see mode shapes, total deformation. This is the first mode. The body is vibrating like this. This is the first mode of vibration. Here is the third mode of vibration. you can simulate this but if you look at the second mode of vibration in the second mode this beam is vibrating axially but we are not looking at the axial vibrations of the beam just we are focusing on the transverse vibration of the beam so I am considering node no, mode number 3 which is the transverse mode of vibration and here is mode number 5 in the fifth mode this is the vibrating condition of the body and natural frequency of the fifth mode is 242.42 hertz so in this way we have determined natural frequencies and mode shapes of transverse vibrations of a simply supported beam So thank you very much.